bila shaka umewahi kusikia mji unaitwa Nanyuki ambao upo huko nchini Kenya. Sasa huu mji bana unafahamika sana kuwa sehemu ambapo ndo mstari wa ikweta unapita. Na kuna maajabu yake ni sehemu ambayo ni kivutio kwa watalii, kuna watu wanaonesha namna ambavyo mabadiliko ya kijiografia katika eneo hilo. Hii hapa ni exclusive video ambayo DJ Sama ambaye anafanya kazi East Africa Radio. Yeye yupo na nyuki kwa sasa ambako amekwenda kufanya gigi huko kuna show amekwenda kufanya. Ametutumia hii hapa video ambayo amefika katika hiyo sehemu ambapo kuna hawa watu wakielezea hiyo sehemu na ikweta ilivyo inavyopita na mabadiliko ambayo yanatokea pale pale. Utaisikia mwishoni kwa sababu anaongea Kiingereza lakini nataka nikuambie kile ambacho uh, kipo katika mji huu wa Nanyuki na yale maonesho ambayo alikuwa anaonesha akina DJ Sama na wenzake. Sasa Nanyuki ni mji ambao upo katika kaunti ya Laikipia huko Kenya. Na kama ambavyo nimesema upo karibu uh, na mstari wa ikweta duniani, Ikweta Line. Eneo hili maalumu linajulikana kama nukta ya ikweta ambapo ndo hivyo mstari huu unapita. Mstari wa ikweta ni mstari unaogawanya dunia katika sehemu mbili, ncha ya kaskazini na ncha ya kusini. Kwa Kiingereza wanaziita Northern Hemisphere pamoja na Southern Hemisphere. Ni mahali ambapo latitudo ni sifuri na kuna mabadiliko katika usawa wa kijiografia. Hapo na nyuki sasa kuna alama maalumu inayoonyesha mstari wa ikweta. Alama hii inaonekana kama mnara mdogo au nguzo iliyoandikwa ikweta. Ni alama ya kuvutia na pia inaashiria umuhimu wa mahali hapo. Watu wengi hufurahia kutembelea nukta ya ikweta ya Nanyuki kwa sababu inawapa fursa ya kusimama katikati ya hizi ncha mbili za dunia. Northern Hemisphere pamoja na Southern Hemisphere. Kwa wakati mmoja wanakuwa wanasimama pale. Watalii wanaweza kupiga picha na kusherehekea uzoefu wa kuwa hapo katika eneo la kipekee kabisa. Wakati wa kutembelea nukta ya ikweta ya Nanyuki, wageni wanaweza kufurahia vivutio vingine vilivyopo karibu. Kuna maonyesho ya kuvutia yanayoonesha athari za mstari huo kwenye maisha na sayansi. Pia kuna maduka ya zawadi ambapo watalii wanaweza kununua vitu vinavyohusiana na ikweta na kumbukumbu za eneo hilo. Nukta ya ikweta ya Nanyuki ni mahali maarufu kwa wageni na wakazi wa eneo hilo. Inawakilisha kitovu cha dunia na inatoa nafasi ya kipekee ya kugundua athari za kijiografia duniani. Ni eneo la kuvutia ambalo linakaribisha watu kutoka sehemu mbalimbali za ulimwengu. Sasa wakiwa hapo kuna maonesho ambayo hufanywa kubaini mstari huo ama athari zake. Huwa kuna chombo chenye tundu katika sehemu ya chini. Sasa kama ambavyo unaona hii video, mwishoni nitakuwekea umsikia akiwaelezea sasa kwa Kiingereza. Uh, hiki chombo kina tundu katika sehemu ya chini ambapo kunawekwa lita moja ya maji na vipande viwili vidogo vya mti ama njiti ya kiberiti na vitu kama hivyo pamoja na bakuli tupu. Hatua ya kwanza jaribio hufanyika umbali wa futi kumi kaskazini mwa ikweta. Hapa maji hutiwa ndani ya chombo hicho wakati tundu katika sehemu ya chini linafunikwa na kidole. Vipande vya mti huruhusiwa kuelea juu ya maji. Kisha hatua ya mwisho ni kuondoa kidole kutoka sehemu ya chini ya chombo na kuruhusu maji kutiririka ndani ya bakuli tupu chini. Wakati huo utaona kwamba vipande vya kuni vinaanza kuzunguka kwa mzunguko wa saa clockwise. Wakati jaribio hilo likifanywa umbali wa futi kumi kusini mwa ikweta, ile mwanzoni clockwise ilikuwa ni kaskazini. Tukienda kusini mwa ikweta, inaonekana kwamba vipande hivi vya miti hivi vinazunguka kwa mzunguko usio wa saa anti clockwise. Na wakati jaribio linapofanywa kwenye ikweta yenyewe pale katikati, inaonekana kwamba njiti hizi ama hivi vimiti havizunguki kabisa, vinakuwa vimekaa pale pale. Hii video inaonesha kila kitu. Kimsingi hapa inaonesha mabadiliko au nguvu ambayo ni matokeo ya mzunguko wa dunia. Kiingereza wanasema kwamba this basically shows the deflection of the force that is in attract of the earth's rotation. Nataka nikuwekee uone hii video alafu msikie huyu mtaalamu akiwasimulia kina DJ Sama na kiukweli mimi ndo nashuhudia kwa mara ya kwanza. Ukigoogle utaona hii sehemu maarufu sana ya Nanyuki ambao kuna hayo mabango yanaonesha kwamba hapa ni ikweta na umbali na vitu kama hivyo. Ni sehemu maarufu sana lakini kwa mara ya kwanza DJ Sama ametuletea hii hapa video ambayo tunaona experience sasa ya moja kwa moja kama wewe hujawahi kuona. Naamini kwamba utajifunza na utashangaa maajabu ya dunia. Oh, my name is uh, Teacher William. I just uh, welcome you exactly at the middle of the world. Actually world, not Kenya. So right now we are neither there nor here. So we just need to move either side of the equator. It's like such how you can use the GPS machine then you can tell which is which part of the world you are. 
um, at that point, when you let the water drain in this bowl, there is that reaction when the earth is spinning, whereby the water spins clockwise when you are either side, I mean clockwise north and clockwise south. And when you come exactly within the window, the water will just stay and drain straight. So the minimum distance is like 20 meters either side. So let's start with that. meters away, you just need to look at the behavior of the water. Do you see anything happen? No. Why? Yeah. Seeing is part of the demonstration. <laughs> Make oh. sure you can see something. Oh, the water okay. is there, yes. What is there? Don't put your own shadow. Mm. So you can see like that particles are moving. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Particles are moving like that. Exactly. Yeah. Now that we have seen the particles turn, yeah, clockwise actually, isn't it? Uh, then when you let it drain, because the earth is spinning, I said that when from before, the shadow comes in. You just wonder where the shadow is coming from. And then we have the whirlpool. You see the whirlpool? Yeah. Then uh, look at the bottom. Then you can see the spirals. This one, the spirals relate anything about the ocean currents. The whirlpool comes in, yeah, because there is that spiraling sort of. Then there is this black spot because of the little bit shape of the earth, although not accurate. And when you don't let it drain, everything else disappears. Are we together? And keep it draining. Then now make use of the indicator because the water is plain or colorless. So it's like we need something that will make it visible for us to see. And the same speed of the indicator is not equal to more distance. The further you go, the stronger the effect. The closer to the equator, the slower. That's why the navigators uh, light whatever near the equator. Because the waters are plenty that when you move far. The further you go, they are glassing the waves. So let's see the other side now. Letting it drain because um, let it drain. the acceleration of the wind, the motion of the wind, oh, yeah. the more surface is higher. So that's why you have to let it drain. Then, uh, before we see anything else, we have to spot the black shadow, yeah, and then uh, the whirlpool again. And when you don't let it drain, disappears, disappears. Oh. and keep it draining. The shadow is coming because of the warp. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And then the warp is coming because of the spiral. You see them? Yeah. So beyond 20 meters either side, you are either in northern or southern. Now that's sunny clockwise. Uh, yeah. Even if you just try to stop, cheat a little bit, then it still comes back to the south. Go from the margin you chilling. It will keep rotating but it might reduce the power of the rotation yeah. Yeah. yeah so let's now stand in the middle okay we're learning something so at this point okay only a little bit um, this is of the wind, that the wind is all over in our universe and we can't avoid it. There is no one time in life you say that when I was, uh, how far are you coming from right now? How many kilometers? 300. 300, yeah, that's enough. You can't say that when I was in Nairobi or somewhere, I breathed in more air than another time, another part of the day. The answer is no. So that's how the Coriolis force works here. At a short distance, the same wind, almost the same speed, but within the 40 meters where the line cuts the world into two, 
there is no effect. There is no effect. It stays. When it is not draining, and when it is draining, it looks the same. The particles are not coming, and the indicator is not spinning because the water is still. No shando, no wapu, and no spiders. So, which we yeah. okay. So that's why at some point, um, if you get lost, you might make use of my apparatus. Then you sketch your way back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you so much. Karibu.